So now for our business English setting, let's consider some do's and don'ts within those settings. Firstly, you're not going to know everything about their particular business and you could actually use your ignorance of that to your advantage. So if you're teaching a group of banking employees, you may not know about the particular areas of work that they do and use that to their advantage. So when they're using terms that are used within the banking system, then you can say, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Can you explain that to me? So they're actually getting more language practice. It's very useful as well to find out what they actually do in their jobs. So perhaps ask the employer if you can actually shadow your clients and go around and see what they actually do. If you know exactly what their job involves, then you're going to know how to tailor their English language learning to that particular job. It is very important within the business English setting that you be professional at all times. And until you know otherwise, that should be in terms of both dress and in your demeanor and attitude towards your clients. And it is very important within a business English session that you keep records. Very often, the employers will want to know about their individual clients and you should therefore be able to have a meeting with them and tell them how each of their clients are doing from the records that you have kept. Some of the things to be aware that you need to try and avoid within the business English area is not to talk about people within the company. The second thing that we would recommend that you don't do is, as with young learners, don't expect them to bring everything that they may need for the class. A number of reasons why they might not bring what they need. They'll be tired, first of all, because they've probably been working all day. And secondly, their motivation may be such that they're hoping that they can get out of things. So bring every, all the materials that you're going to need. And as with young learners, don't use their native language. 